doing, Nick? You alright? Okay, yeah. You good? You alright? So this is your Audi S4? Yep. And what's the actual colour? It's like a TVR Tuscan, isn't it? Colour? Yeah, it's one we made up. We, okay. It's a bit of an experiment, didn't know how it's going to come out. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's meant to be a like a flip colour. So there's actually three tones to it: blue, purple, and green. Okay. But yeah, it's um, it's a wrap, but it's not a vinyl wrap. It's a uh, spray-on wrap. It's a spray. Oh, okay, it's like the plastic dip, right? Yeah, but it's a UK company called Cardip UK. Okay. Um, and it's also got a very high gloss um, finish to it, almost like traditional clear coat. So it can actually be sanded and polished up. Oh right, cool. just like normal paint. So there's a bit here and there that need polishing up again, but it's uh, yeah. And one of the biggest features with the car is the arches, right? So you've had some yeah. wide arches put on the car, like so, really yeah. subtle, but yeah, it's, just, it's got um, as you say, widened arches. They're blended in, designed to be subtle. Yeah. So they, rather than having big chunky. Um, Seals. They've mm -hmm. still got the traditionally original stills and they're just blended in. Okay. Um, yeah, it's meant to keep it all subtle. So it was a subtle car before we did the uh, paint job, oh. but that's. Was it a big job to do it? The arches. Cut, you have to cut into the car yeah, and yeah, stuff? Yeah, or? yeah, so that's. Yeah. yeah, professionals did that, not, uh, not yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> the wheels are off a uh, B8 RS4. Yeah. Um, but they've still got spaces on as well, so it makes it even, okay. even wider. Yeah, no, it sits really nice. And uh, what about suspension? So, suspension, it's got uh, coilovers. Mm -hmm. KW cool overs, uh, V1s because it's used for road use on yeah. track. Mm -hmm. um, I've got upgraded H and R ARBs, strut brace. Brakes are standard. Yeah. Again, it's uh, it's not used on the track, so mm. they tend to be they seem to be fine. For so, so what's the handling like then? Is it is it improved? It obviously sounds like some good handling mod you've had done. Yeah. So it's obviously lower, wider, stiffer. Mm -hmm. um, the wider track, the bigger wheels. The lower profile tires, the ARBs, the suspension, it all, and the strut brace as well. It just it's very tight, very solid. Mm. Um, there's not a whole lot of give, but that it's, it's it's actually more comfortable than some of the cars I've got. So okay. yeah, it's again good all round fast road car. DSG box? Yeah, DSG. Anything done to that? Tune so in. engine and gearbox are being mapped by MRC. Okay. And it's cool. had a few tweaks in there. So that's stage two plus, I think they call stage it. Stage two plus, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's pulley. Um, high grip belt, air filter mods. Mm -hmm. It's still got the air box, yeah. so it's got a K9 cone filter, but it's in the air box because they are prone to a bit of heat soak in these engines. So yeah, we did a test with MRC one time where we um, we tried sort of before and after heat soaking. Mm -hmm. So it's 493 when it was running fine with the cool air being pumped in, etc. Let it heat soak for a bit and it was running like 450, I think. Oh wow. So you, you, know, you lose like 10%. What if difference. you haven't got the right cooling and uh, yeah, it shows how important take. it is, doesn't it? So it's running the last time we checked 493 PS, okay, and, and so 600 it's... newton meters torque. Wow. Yeah. So, had a um, custom diffuser done as well as the arches blend into the bump and the like. It's got a um, yeah, custom diffuser that mm. uh, done by the same guys that did the arches, okay. And it was in a magazine feature, this was back when it was still white. Mm. Um, and a lot of people contacted me saying, you know, where did you get this work done? Where can I buy them from? So I put them in contact with the guys that did the work, but um, they focus more on one-offs, and this was a one-off at the time. Yeah. So, yeah, based on the interest, I then signed up a business to actually start making the diffusers. So this one okay, here cool. is actually one of the ones that we've moulded from my company. All right. Yeah, so in keeping with the theme of it being sort of OEM+, Plus, yeah. it's got uh, an RS5 steering wheel. Okay. So just give it a slightly chunkier feel. It didn't have a great deal of kit in it, didn't have sat nav or anything, so I've retrofitted all of that, retrofitted uh, cruise control, a few of the other toys. The sat nav and stereo system itself, it's got like a touchscreen overlay. To all intents and purposes, it looks like standard equipment. Yeah. You don't have all the extra buttons, you can still control stuff from the um, steering wheel controls. Okay. But yeah, it's all hidden away, so it's all, again, it's a sort of OEM plus and it's all very subtle, despite wow. the paintwork. Cool, man. Nice. All right, so should we get in the car, take it for a spin, see yeah. what it's like? Sure. Yeah, let's do it, man. Then 
on the test track there. And yeah. I was quite impressed by the handling and everything. Okay. And then there's some of like Chris Harris videos from Esther about the uh, the tuning capabilities. Yeah, that's right. You can make them more powerful than an RS4 quite easily. Yeah, so um, you tune, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't necessarily have the same same look. So uh, got the RS6 because we needed a bit of space for the for the kids' seats in the back and yeah. the rest of it. But uh, now that they're a little bit older, I think it's sort of downsize and a slightly mm -hmm. smaller engine and get a bit more fuel economy and the rest of it. But yeah, the R6 has gone to my skin and I haven't been able to let go of it yet. So, so it has the anti roll bars, you had the KW, which yes. is the variant one suspension. Yes, it's got lower stiffer suspension, it's got the um, ARB sway yeah. bars, it's got uh, uh, I've put a strut brace on. Yeah. This is tightened up a bit, just help with the understeer bit because although the V8's a lot better than some of the, uh, the older. Yeah. Yeah, it's still and just fairly fell on the front and yeah. uh, still get a bit of understeer so that yeah. all of that just tightens it up and obviously the lower wider stance with the uh, the arches and the bigger wheels are pushed out all comes together to make it quite a flat solid ride so have you ever noticed this car like understeering on you like ever when you've hit a corner no not, not really. too much but yeah i don't like i said i don't track it yeah yeah, um, yeah yeah you're not a maniac I no i don't <laughs> push it all the time what's the torque figure on it so it's uh, just over 600 newton meters. Wow. So it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fair bit. Again, you don't feel the same surge as you do with a turbocharged car, even though it's got a yeah. fair bit of torque. It's like a toy, isn't it, man? It's quite a loud exhaust, isn't it, as well? So the front end is just standard, it's just the rear end of change. So we did some bespoke. Rear box or? So I did a rear box delete. Some custom pipe work to the custom um, tips. Mm. It definitely um, feels comfortable as well, so it's sitting very, quite low in my opinion. Yeah. Um, it's probably hugging the arches in the wheels, but it doesn't feel overly stiff or anything. So yeah. It still feels very comfortable. Yeah, so the KW V1s has just got, you can adjust the height, but they're set for fast roads, so they're not, they're not racy. You change up again. First time you've been in the passenger <laughs> of your own car or yeah, that? Yeah, in this one, yeah. It must be weird. What, what does it feel like going from first then? Yeah, well, yeah. That's like, let's do, a, back. 
Let's do a first for you so you can feel it. Yeah. safe way isn't it everything's a lot more progressive although this is a progressive power because it's supercharged still when you take it to somewhere like MRC or whatever tuning company you choose it just makes it so much more aggressive doesn't it yeah but it's so much is, more fun it's like, it's like a jack o night you stick it into drive again yeah and it's exactly like it always was yeah, that, that throttle response is like dangerous almost isn't it? yeah that, that. This is the first Audi that I've ever felt that's got any form of weight into it. And I'm sure it must be because the car's like, I don't know, with my F80, like although the, F, the, the BMs, they normally have a bit more weight to the wheel anyway. But when I had the uh, springs and spaces put on, I immediately felt the wheel felt heavier as well. Yeah. I don't know if it's, I don't know what the reason is. I don't know if it's because you're shortening, idiot. I don't know if it's because you're shortening the springs or, but yeah, you've got to be careful in this because it's so low. I can feel that. Yeah. Like this bend here, normally I'll just fly around there. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Bit of rubbing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there like a difference with these gearboxes? Is this like an older gen gearbox because of its age or are they all just the same? Well, it had a, it's had a newer gearbox, so it's got a newer generation one anyway. Okay. So it's not the one it left the factory for anymore. It's got it had a whole new gearbox clutch, electronics, mm. which is the revised one, which is less problematic. Because it feels like kind of lazy, and this is in is this in sport. Yeah, it's like just a slight bit of. I mean, the gear physical gear changes are quick, but I think that the way that it's reacting just in general. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it might just yeah. be the technology has moved on. Yeah, exactly. Like Jeez, man, that's a like monstrous amount of talk, you know that? A lot of people probably hear me always talk about weight into a wheel. That's because when you have a real light wheel, it just feels too playful. So when you get to high speed stuff, when you've got a really light wheel, you know, it's so easy to knock yourself offline and stuff like that. When you've got a nice heavy wheel. A nice weight to the wheel, it just I don't know. You can, I think you can drive faster, more control. Yeah, it really turns in more, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's easy to get carried away in it. It just feels like you say, it feels like it's set off a track, really. Yeah, nice and flattened. Yeah, you can feel there's small grip as well. But I've drove one of these a lot, but. It's definitely um, fairly stiff, and you know what it is because you've got the passive suspension. UK man, it's it's bad having yeah. passive suspension. Well, especially at the moment, off the cold weather, it's the motor. Sure. Yeah. Can I turn traction off? Or is that? Yeah. If you want. Well, no, it's not into wrap to me one bit now, is it? the video there hope you enjoyed it uh, thank you for coming down and uh, letting me take your pride and joy for a spin I can see you like queezing in the <laughs> passenger seat there um, but yeah make sure to check out um, what's your Instagram so you've got um, an Instagram for this car yeah so it's the company or driving passion limited yeah so I'll leave the link in the description make sure to check that out and uh, yeah uh, as always please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you soon thank you for watching bye